Here's Eddie Clancy, who is joining us live from Columbia. And Eddie, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Let's first and foremost talk about this season experience for you. We talked about the rainouts with Riley a bit too, but we got to talk about it with you as well. Talk to me about battling through the rain and trying to always stay ready, what that means to you and how have you been able to take that this season? Um, you know, it's kind of heartbreaking when you're like in the middle of class and then you get that tweet from Wolf saying that the game has been postponed and you just have to think about like, what are you going to do at practice today? Make sure that even though you're not having a game, you're going to get into the cage and swing as good as you can. Make sure that you're working on anything you need to work on. So when we do finally get that game, then you're ready. One, uh, Eddie, the hat game is strong. I love it. Uh, it's, it's a sharp hat. Uh, when you're looking at this season and and the stops and the starts and like like Ty said, trying to find momentum, what what has been the the biggest thing that you guys have done to really get confidence and get momentum in this season? Um, I think it's the energy. Um, as you can see, we went on we went on that ten game uh, streak there, and our energy's always like been really up and. Uh, I think that when we're playing as a team and everyone's like into the game, then it just boosts everyone else's confidence. And then we play uh, better as a team. Who was a role model you had coming in as a freshman uh, going into this Columbiana program? And how did you translate that and become a mentor now to see you in your senior year? Um, probably Evan Keneally. Um, I started as a freshman as a first baseman. Uh, and he was really like the person that guided me into – all the ins and outs of high school baseball. And I really thank him for that. Like you said, you started as a freshman. What do you think if you looked at freshman Eddie to senior Eddie now, what are the biggest things you've grown in and the biggest things you've learned throughout your high school career? Um, I think the biggest difference was, uh, well, this year I did switch to second base. I think that learning like how to find what I'm better at as a player, uh, switching to second, I really found myself and I was able to do a lot more in the field than I was at first. Uh, and then batting wise, I think being able to just see the pitches better and uh, really work on those as I got like older and stronger and um, it's just made me a lot better. Use this ad advice for incoming freshmen as well, but what is something that senior Eddie would suggest to freshman Eddie to do more? Uh, looking back at your whole career now. Definitely hit the weight room a lot sooner and uh, try and get bigger. I was very small my freshman year. What about uh, school? Talk about the favorite subjects and some of the teachers in the school system that have really impacted your journey. Um, I think Wolf, yeah, not just as a baseball coach, as a teacher, able to – take his classes and his elective broadcast. That's actually how I found out what I want to do in college. Um, I think the electives here are really nice because you get to see a lot. And uh, I know a lot of students here really found out what they're going to do in college based off the electives here. So break the news. What is it? What is it you want to go into uh, college for? What is the, uh, what's the plans then for Eddie? I'm going to go into a uh, digital media production at Slippery Rock. Uh, going to be behind the scenes of like, say your show or something like that you know i, I just gotta say uh, 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 a chair is always open at ysn after after you get your degree you know you, don't be afraid to, to call us up um when you look at some of the things that you set as a personal goal coming into this season what were some of the goals you set and then now that you look at it we're almost at the end of the season how would you grade yourself on those goals that you set and how well you've done it and accomplishing them um i think at the beginning of the year my goals were to be 100% in the field. Uh, currently, I've kept that goal. Uh, and then batting, I've uh, I've struggled a little bit lately in these past few games, but hopefully by the end of uh, May and going into June that I will be able to keep get my batting average up and complete all my goals of hitting as well as fielding. You guys play a tough schedule, and you got some really good wins under your belt this season. Dude, talk to me about that mentality you have to have playing – up divisions and being a division three school playing division one schools playing division two schools and very good division two and division one schools at that um i think just going in not really caring about divisions we look at ourselves as columbiana baseball and not oh we're a small d3 school um 
we know that we have the ability to beat D1 and D2 schools. And so we're going to go in there and we're going to play as hard as we possibly can and um, play to the best of our ability, which is being able to beat those D1, D2 schools. Yeah, and you had some really big wins on the year against those D1 and D2 schools. What kind of confidence does that give you guys going forward, going into this tournament where you're not going to see teams that big, you're going to see teams that are more in your level. What kind of confidence does that give this program going forward? Uh, I think it gives us a lot of confidence um, looking at the people around us and the people in our division, uh, knowing that we can beat the top schools in our area and higher divisions that when we finally come back down to D3, that it's going to give us a lot of confidence that we'll be able to beat them and we can go in there and play our best. And we know that in the end, we'll come out on top. Talking about going on a 10 game win streak to start the season before dropping a few games, obviously dropping a few games can be seen as a momentum killer, but is there a way that you guys can flip that? And if so, how have you guys been able to flip those losses into generating more momentum? Um, I actually, I'm glad that we had these losses like uh, right now, cause I, it shows us how a loss feels and now we know how bad it hurts to like lose, especially four straight. Um, and it's really given us the energy and the will to win when uh, we kind of got into a little slow slump there. Um, but now, as we saw last night with the um, walk off, just the energy and everyone being into the game, like all watching, like yelling, screaming to uh, our batters just to get everyone the momentum to keep going. Uh, it really gives us the will to win. Eddie, if I were to ask a underclassman in the next year after you graduate, what kind of impact you left on this program, what would you hope their answer would be? Uh, I'd hope that like we do, we have, um, we have shirts and like our practice shirts and everyone has a different role and uh, I'm a bore. So it's really like getting down, doing the dirty work, stuff that's not going to be seen um, like in the papers much or, be really known like i'm not like no home runs or crazy like pitching but um i hope that they see me as a solid player that got the job done when he needed to let's talk about the influence that coach ryan wolf has had on you too no doubt you talked about him as a as a teacher too but what are some of the biggest lessons you've taken away from coach wolf um i think coach is uh, ability to listen he coming into this year, we all had to talk, uh, all the seniors, we had a meeting with him and just seeing how like, well, he like listened to us and let us, um, help be a huge part of this team. Um, just like seeing how nice it is that when people listen to you, I think that's a, a really good aspect that he has is being able to listen. We know that with success and the success of this program that they've had the last couple of years comes outside pressure and outside expectations. How have you guys been able to handle that and keep it contained to you guys and what you guys are doing and not hear the outside noise and let it get to you? Um, Wolf told us at the beginning of the year, he said um, that people are going to talk. And like when we versus those D1 schools, it's like, oh, why are you even playing those teams? Uh, like they're higher divisions. But then he also said that when we do beat those teams, uh, it's nice to listen to the public and say, oh, wow, you're beating those D1 teams and let the good stuff come in and uh, take the confidence from it and then push out all the bad stuff when it's not as positive. Talking about this being your senior season, we talked with uh, Riley and he talked mentioned about conference championships obviously being on the mind as well as a, a nice tournament run would obviously be great for club Vienna too. talk to me about how big this game uh, against United is going to be for you guys and how much of a confidence boost do you think that would be before a tournament run? Um, I think going into the uh, first game against them, we, we were up coming up 10 and then that game did get rained out. Um, but we really saw that we, need to play our best all the time. And we know that teams can still beat us. And I think if we beat them, when we beat them on Friday, uh, the confidence is going to jump way up because then we know that teams that even beat us, we can still come out and play our best and win those games. And we know that we can win the tough ones. All right, let's get to some rapid fire questions to get to know you off the field a little bit. Uh, sunrise or sunset? Sunset. 
All right, what is your favorite dinner meal entree? If you had a last, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. If you had a last meal, if you were on death row for some unforeseen reason that we hope you never get on death row for any reason, but if you were and you had a last meal, what would you want it to be? Definitely a medium rare ribeye steak. Mm, what are the sides? Like we want the whole meal. Like Ooh. you're going to Outback and uh, the sides you need a drink too. Some fresh cut French fries and an mm. ice cold lemonade. Always making me hungry when I ask these kind of questions. Um, do you have pets? And no. if you do, you don't. I do not have pets. Let me in a baseball. No pets on the team. Okay. What would what pet do you would you want to have? If you could have any pet in the world, any animal, what would you want to have? I want to have a fennec fox. I think they're so cool. All right. Um, if you were to go back in time, who would you want to meet and what era would you want to go to? Uh The Roaring Twenties. Ooh. Would you want to meet anyone from that area? Uh, I I would want to be like one of the famous people and just like being able to meet all the uh, people from that era and like how they were doing it and like learn all the stock market and stuff like that before, of course, the crash. But, before the crash, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you could have dinner with anybody, living or dead, who would you want to have dinner with? Hmm. Um... I would want to have dinner with Michael Jordan. All right, what's your favorite thing about being a baseball player? Um, favorite part about being a baseball player? Um, probably the brotherhood uh, amongst the team. All right, I know we had to do a lot of virtual learning uh, back in the COVID years. What was the one subject that you hated doing virtual learning with? Spanish. Um, what is one thing that you hope people will say about you uh, if, if we were to ask, like, to describe uh, Eddie Clancy? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, smart. <laughs> what was the last Netflix show that you binge watched? Um... Last Netflix show I binge watch was, huh? It's been a oh, uh, Bridgerton. All right. If, what fictional death hit you the hardest? Fictional, um, definitely May in Spider Man. Oh, that's yeah. That's that's about that's a buzz one. Um, on a scale of one to ten, how messy is your room right now? Right now, like ten being the worst. 10 being like you can't even get through anything. A two. Oh, that's good. Good job. I think your parents would be happy about that. Uh, if you were to own your own company, what would you want it to sell or uh, advance in? Um, I'd want to sell computers. What was your last impulse buy? Huh? What was your last impulse buy? Yeah. Last impulse buy was a lacrosse stick. <laughs> Do you, do you play like lacrosse uh, uh, recreationally? Uh, I'm just starting to learn. Uh, awesome. I think it's so cool, so I want to learn how to play. Um, what teammate uh, do you get in the most mischief with? Uh, definitely the next one, Trevor Deering. All right. Uh, Eddie, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. But before we let you go, we do want to give you the time to thank your support system, the people that are always there for you and the people you wouldn't be here without? I uh, definitely want to thank my parents, always pushing me to be the best, and then my friends that I've grown up with. All right, Andy, thank you so much for the time and coming on to join us. We love talking to you. We wish you the best of luck the rest of the year, and we'll talk thank again you. real soon. Thank you.